This is Quinn, that's Nazi iPhone Guy, and this is the iPod launch day here in September, September 8th, I believe the date is. I don't even know, to be honest. Um, however, we had the, the shuffle, we have the Nano. Of course, this, though, is the iPod Touch 4G unboxing, so let's get into this. Um, the packaging, as normal, is very thick, very sexy, very nice. Uh, I only got the 8 gigabyte model because I am a little bit of a budget right now and also because this may be a giveaway item don't hold my word to it but that's what I'm planning on as of right now so you have one of those peel stickers just on top there and then one that doesn't remove because it's hinged there we go I'm gonna pull the iPod out here and uh, of course we have this little secret compartment designed by Apple in California we pull it open and uh, we're gonna get our fingertips which is pretty much like the quick start guide um, we're going to get the product information and warranties, and then you're going to get two little Apple stickers, so those are always nice to have. Um, alrighty, you're going to get your terrible, goodness to awful earphones. Um, these ones do not come with the microphone, as you can see, so there's no control system on these like we saw in the iPhones and in the last generation iPod Shuffle, so that's a bit of a disappointment, but there is no inline mic on this one. We also see a your typical 2.0 USB, um, excuse me, USB 2.0 30-pin dock connector to connect and charge and sync your iPod Touch. Now that's all you're going to get in the box. Very sleek, very sexy, very thin packaging. Seems like they get thinner and thinner every year. And uh, now we're going to pop open the Touch itself. So you've got your peel tab here that pulls off, and then you're able to kind of tip that over. Gonna peel this sticker off here. And there we go. This is the iPod Touch 4G. Now, look at that. It's never gonna look as good as that ever again. Um, the minute I stick this down on this felt pad, it's gonna get scratched. Um, so I hate that they chose the same back, and I wish they would have gone with the iPhone 4 esque look. All I'm gonna say right now is it is very, very thin. I have the last generation iPod Touch 3G model. As you can see, they recessed the screen to the edge rather than having it curl over a little bit as with the last generation. And there is the integration of the front-facing camera. There is the retina display in this as well. Um, you can see already that it is a much, much thinner. Um, it's a little bit shorter, to be honest. Um, buttons are pretty much the same, but as you can see, or hopefully you can see, it is significantly thinner than the previous generation. This is the third gen iPod, and this is the fourth gen. Now, you're going to see here that there is an integrated microphone right there, uh, that little dot, and then a iPhone excuse me, not iPhone, a camera, which is a bit of a disappointment, I've already heard. It's a fixed focus camera. It's not the same one you're gonna see in the iPhone 4. It's not even the same as the iPhone 3G or 3GS. I think it's the same camera that's in the original iPhone that was released in 2007. So that's a bit of a bummer. Um, down here you have your headphone jack and then you have your 30 pin dock connector along with the speaker, which I've heard is absolutely horrid, but in a device this size you can't really complain. You've got your power on switch right now, which will kick on for kicks and giggles, even though we're going to get the connect to iTunes screen. So as you can see, there is definitely the retina display in action. Um, it's too bright for the camera to focus in on it, but you can't even see those pixels. It is gorgeous. Love the display on the iPhone, and the same is true with the iPod Touch 4G. Now, as you can see, they did separate the volume rocker. There's no longer a rocker. There are two individual buttons, which are pretty firm, and I think I'm going to like. So, as you can see, it's quite a bit of an improvement just on the exterior from the last generation. They did keep the back, which is really sad, because this scratch is like crazy. This is what it's looked like, and it's been in a case for a year. So, you know, it's kind of sad, but... uh we're going to hook this up to iTunes, get it sank, or sunk, synced, synced. We're going to get it synced, and uh, I'll come back with a hands-on demo for you. This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.